Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media. Titled, A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. prompt on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. Tag a seed in me, a seed in me, a platform to discuss on how we can discover the greatness of God in us, which means there is something special, there is something good the Lord has deposited in us, which is a seed or a talent or a gift. This is a platform where we want to encourage one another on how we can locate our seed. Please stay tuned. Can I as well encourage you to please share this program on your platform to bless other people? Share to bless a soul, and you can join us in contributing to today's program by calling the studio number, which is 0203774720 or 0794278530. You can type your question on our platform or you call into the studio number. Please stay tuned and God bless you. Do not forget to share with your friends and family, and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Ma, for inviting me. You are very welcome. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi, everyone. My name is Shegun Ajala. Shegun Ajala. I have my mentor. Hmm. He is a, a teacher, he's a, 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 a lecturer, he's a drama minister. He's, in fact, he got a lot of talent that I can't even mention at, at, at this present time. But as we are going along, you will hear more of him. Please stay tuned. You are welcome once again. Thank you very much. God for bless you. Me. I want you to please introduce yourself fully to our people for the benefit of people that did not even know you at all, your um, educational background, your Christian's life, how you started your Christian's. Can you share with our viewers? All right. So let me start from my journey of salvation. Uh, I was born into Christian family and uh, from my very early stage of life, you know, uh, I've been introduced to the journey of faith. And um, you know, that encounter really helped uh, my life, you know, to the point in which, you know, I, I desire more God wow. when I see His move in the life of uh, the people around me. And uh, my mom is an evangelist before she passed away. And uh, my dad is an engineer, so my mom is a teacher as well. Yeah. So the teaching spirit is, a, <laughs> is something that God has blessed our family with. So and uh, so that journey, you know, helped me to be able to desire more of God because uh, my mom always tell you that, you know, God is first, then other things follow. Oh. And uh, that's uh, been the kind of thing that in which helped me to be able to desire more of God. And... Uh, is, it's not about anyone, it's about God. Oh. So, and that is what, you know, helped my journey of, uh, of faith up to this moment. And also my education background, I was born in Nigeria. I schooled in, in Nigeria. My uni uh, is uh, Lagos State University and I did economics education. So I'm a trained teacher oh, okay. as well. So um, 
then I came to this part of this world to, de to do strategic uh, leadership and uh, which uh, I've been and, uh, and I'm still in the journey of learning more and more and more. And uh, I'm an author. I write books. I've written eight books by the glory, to the glory of God. I've uh, written a lot of scripts and also I've directed a few movies. And um, I am the uh, leader for Two Generation Drama Ministries, which is total, uh, popularly known as CGBM Globally. So, and uh, I'm the principal of Kingdom Actors Institute. So, uh, uh, I started ministry officially in 2008. So, and um, God has helped us to be able to be a blessing in the area of state production, writing, filmmaking, and uh, uh, we are wow. here. Wow, wow, wow. I'm <laughs> blessed to have you here. Thank you very much. What a talent, what a gift in you. May the Lord continue to bless you more in Jesus' Amen. name. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed that. Now, I want you to tell me, what are your experiences in this journey? Being a filmmaker or a movie producer, what are your experiences? I know at a point we can't have a good experience and also a bad experience. Can you share with our viewers? Yeah, I think um, when I'm talking about, when, when you ask me about my experience, that is a good and a bad of it. Okay, let's start with the bad of one. And the bad one is that um, you you find yourself in a ministry in which uh, you, you don't have many people that... Uh, are there very few people that God have been using? So and even uh, I don't understand. I uh, find myself in it. Mm -hmm. So I, I I think the first seven years of ministry, I was a bit confused of oh. what God really called me to do. Oh. So and I seek the face of God, and the Lord was telling me in the place of prayer that what what I call you to do is different from what I give you the grace to do. So, and uh, that makes me to be able to ask God, what did you call me to do? So, uh, and um, when you look at that, and it's a kind of um, a ministry in which people come for wrong reasons at times. That's people right. just want to be uh, famous. People want to just be at the front mm -hmm. of the stage, in front of the camera. So, it, it, it's very few people that want to know what's going behind the camera. And also, it's a kind of ministry that is a kind of a threat to, to the kingdom of the devil. Oh, yes. So, because uh, mm -hmm. I've, um, mm. in our ministry, somebody has acted like a prostitute before, and later find herself doing that. Wow. And uh, I've seen somebody that acted like a mad person, you know, and end up having a mental wow. issue. So, and I found myself in a state which is funny experience as well. And I'm supposed to act, and my, my zip tear up on stage, so I just <laughs> need to be able to manage myself. And mm -hmm. so, and um, there are so many things in which uh, mm. I've learned, you know, in a very hard way, wow. uh, which is some like, you know, understanding the, the need of mm. doing things right. Yeah, okay. So, not rush doing it. I say, you know, understand what I call process step. and procedures. Yeah. That leads to something. So I, I was telling, I always tell people that it doesn't cause God to create heaven and earth within one second. Mm -hmm. But He's teaching us process from the first day to the sixth day. And He's mm -hmm. even telling us our head is very important for us to, to rest, rest on yeah. the seventh day. So these are some of the things that mm -hmm. I learned in a very hard way mm -hmm. in the journey of uh, doing the work of God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Amen. Wow. What a good experience, I will say, because for you sitting here sharing this experience with us, it's a blessing for us to know that regardless of whatever we experience in the process of whatever we are doing, we can still achieve it. More anointing to you in Jesus' name. Can you please share with our viewers your greatest challenge in this journey? Wow. Uh, the greatest challenge in this journey is when I left Nigeria. And uh, the ministry is two years when I left, of oh. when we were officially uh, inauguration. And, and uh, it's, it's now who is going to hold the place together and everything. Before and, you came here? Yeah, before I came here. Oh. And uh, it looks like everything is falling apart. Oh. But, uh, you know, it, it, God miraculous because it took me months and months. If you 
least on roughly one year plus to be able to you know until the lord raised mm. someone that said that don't worry that I will, I, will, I will be able to stand mm. in the upon the mm. because it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of a lot of um, battle when i left because um, mm. you know you 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 heard god not to do some things not to say some things and try to obey god at the same time the part of you of the people that you have been with for for so long mm. you want to so a lot of things happen but that's one of the most uh, very very challenge. Wow. wow. So yeah. how are you able to overcome the challenge? Yes, the first thing is I go back to God. Okay. You know, whatever you are passing through, whether in ministry, in life, in marriage, okay. you go back to God. Okay. Because He's the creator. He created you. He created the situation, okay. the people that you are you're having issues with. So when you go back to God, number okay. two then is that wait okay. upon the Lord to okay. receive direction. Okay. Most of us when we when, when we are praying, we just talk to God. We don't listen. We don't listen. Yeah. We don't. We don't yeah, allow him to talk to us. So, yeah. after that direction, then take action. Yeah. Because if you don't take action, then nothing will happen. Most of us, we we know the promises of God. Yeah. We know the Bible, but we don't take action. Yeah. And well, that is that is one of the areas. So those are three key that help me during that period. Okay, you go back to the Lord, then you follow the direction. To take, take the action. action. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you so much. This yes. is wonderful. Let me quickly acknowledge people watching us from the faith. Um, you are welcome to Moments with Shell and Ade Jesu Tofumi, also known as Olua Shego Ajala, is on platform with me sharing his experience on how he discovered his seed, on how he's using his, his seed to increase the kingdom of the Lord. Please stay tuned. You can as well dial in if you would like to ask him any question. Please dial in to 0203774720 or 0794472785370. Please share this with your families and friends because I believe they will be blessed with you. God bless you and stay tuned. I have my wonderful mother in the Lord, um, Prophetess Akin be saying, um, the visionary of light of faith and joyful outreach. Um, thank you for joining. God bless you. And also my brother, um, Ola Tempo, Ola Shepo. Thank you, sir, for joining. God bless you. I have also um, Sister Joel Ifioma. Um, thank you all for joining me. The Lord bless you. Kindly please share on your platform to bless other people. Call in to ask a question or you, then, uh, you type your question on the page and he will answer you. Thank you. Also, I have gifts for our callers or our viewers. Um, on today's program, I have lots of books with me to share with you. Please, if you are interested, please dial in to let me know and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, back to you, sir. As we are moving forward, can you tell me how do you receive your inspiration in terms of um, producing um, your movie? And also, how you receive your, in your inspiration when you are writing your books? I believe that the books... Um, the book aspect, you said your mom is a teacher, so from there you have that um, experience of writing books, which I understand. But I want you to tell us, how do you receive your own inspiration to develop your books? Alright, so starting from book, um, my, my, my first book is, is called Before the Cutting Falls. Okay. That means that what are the things you need to do before you go on stage. Okay. And most of my book is... Um, some of the things that God have taught me, okay. some of the things I've experienced. So it's a life experience. So it's a life experience, but when I'm writing it, you may not know, yeah. because I use like a third party okay. in my writing. So, um, and, uh, so number one is that it, it will be a burden on me to write. Oh, so that's yeah. the first thing I, I, it will be a burden on me in which that inspired the, the, the journey of the writing. Okay. Then I keep praying for God to be able to breathe upon it. Okay. For which area do you want me to focus on? So in my writing. So at times it's a burden upon me. At times, I always tell people that you may not be able to correct so many problems within you. Mm -hmm. But you can be able to provide a solution with your talent. Mm. So my writing at times is for me to be able to don't allow people that are coming behind me to make the same mistake I've learned okay. in a very hard way. So, and uh, God always make it as a burden upon me when okay. I want to write. So when I ask him for a living, which area he want me to focus on. Like now, when um, 
I wrote a book on the uh, absence of a father in 21st century. Mm -hmm. So it's more or less my journey with my dad. Okay. You understand? And I was on this program when I lost my dad. So I it's, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was uh, 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 so mm -hmm. that that inspired by God indirectly, but it's important upon me oh, yeah. that start writing. So and writing as well is like you living the legacy mm -hmm. of revelation and information for people, for people that are too. coming behind. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to know somebody one on one, but if you can get their material, you can be able to understand their journey and how God have dealt with them, That's how they right. have obeyed God and everything like that. And you can so, apply it to your whole life. To as your well. own life. On mm -hmm. the area of movie as well, I, I, it, it like our our, uh, the movie we produced in UK last time is is based on knife crime, and what happened is that on my street, mm. one guy was killed. Yeah. So when I get there, I said, I was asking them, what is going on? And they said, you know, one, there is one young boy that was being stabbed. So, and I, so I was praying to God that God, mm. you know, I pray for the family. I was praying for the environment, for God to be able to uh, heal that land and all the stuff like that. But while I was praying, God asked me, what have you done about mm -hmm. it? What are you doing about it? Mm -hmm. So that question now, uh, so. I don't, I don't know the prime minister. I don't have anybody mm -hmm. in the parliament. So, but God mm -hmm. said that, but you have a pen in your hand you that you can write. Mm -hmm. So I started writing. So I started researching. I started praying, and God started giving me inspiration on how to go about it. Then I reach out to somebody, which is uh, a friend of mine, uh, Sister Tony, and she's, she's, too, she's writing something like that. So we match the story together, mm -hmm. and that's how we end up having. Um, um, knife crime. Uh, staff, staff souls. So, and that is a knife crime story. So, mm. and some stories that I've written before is a time I get the inspiration as a body. It comes like a body to me personally. Mm. So I can't rest. I can't say that I don't want to write. So, and the fundamental prayer before marriage is my journey. So I pray. I pray that you know, uh, mm. before I was privileged to meet my wife. So those are some of the things come like a burden to me. So and basically, it's like what has happened to you before yes. you are able to mm. translate it into the yes. writing. Mm. Wow, wonderful! That was really nice. I do bless God for your life. More anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, what are you looking into before you can agree to produce movies? Yes, a lot of things. You must look at um, um, because people always think that you know watching. You can watch one hour movie <laughs> or two hours movie. You don't know that it can. It takes us like years mm -hmm. in planning. Years in the sense that before the first thing is the concept. You know that you know whether it's by revelation that you got it or by information you have it. So is the concept. What do you want to write about? Mm -hmm. Then that is when you now start writing. Mm -hmm. So when you start writing, you now need to be looking at okay, how will this message you know, because you can receive it as a revelation. That's right. But to the people that you want to send it to, you know, I always tell three people watch your movie. The people that are they need entertainment, people that want to be spiritually, <laughs> you know, receive it spiritual and some people that want, you know, to just to be entertained. To be entertained and okay. some people that, you know, they just they are professionals. They want to look at how you are doing it. Okay. So and those three people you must be able to cut to across. Uh -huh. You know their their taste or what they, what they are doing in your own best way. So after the concept, you need to write. After writing, you need to now look at okay, what is going to cost you to have this. Uh -huh. So when you look at the cost aspect of it, then in the area of location, equipment, logistics, log and all, that all those uh -huh. areas, then you now know that okay, we now start going into the field and say that okay, this is what we are looking for. Uh -huh. Then you do audition for people. And it comes, but trust me, if you watch any movie, eh, before you will criticize us, try to say, God, I thank you for their life. <laughs> we need to give kudos to people <laughs> yes. uh, acting for us. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Now, I want you to tell me what are the differences um, for you producing film here and back in Nigeria? What are the differences? Wow. <clears throat> the, the production, the difference is number one, when we look at. Um, the the cost effective okay. yeah the cost because um, like here now you must be able to before you are going to shoot in some places mm. you need permission from the government you That's need right. insurance 
so and the renting equipment here per hour so you look at that and that is cost number two is uh, you know the you know there is so many legal things that you need to be able to consider as well okay. if you are going to be shooting with people that are under age you need to consider a lot of things that's true you understand you know uh health and safety is there mm -hmm. permission from their parents even data you know data protection now mm -hmm. i just i just feel informed mm -hmm. today paying monthly yearly for a data protection going to be mm -hmm. using you understand so our vision is there as well so people doesn't really understand what is the behind process. the scenes so not that we don't want to shoot movie like the people are shooting in nigeria but mm -hmm. if you look at a lot of things we need to consider before we go about it then when we're talking about nigeria even though you have human resources that is available mm -hmm. it may not cost like the way we are we are expressing it then at the same time you see so many people that even can be a blessing to you in nigeria living there uh, with the equipment or with their house and other stuff like that and another thing is the weather okay so when we are shooting here Mm -hmm. you know uh, you have to consider the weather you need to consider the weather because mm -hmm. uh, of uh, you know when it's too cold for some people it's not easy for them to be inside cold and stuff like that mm -hmm. the weather is there and also the the you need to consider the audience mm -hmm. so now if you are shooting this part of the world you, you you need to consider that it's not only nigerians that are watching your movie you can find the Caucasian watching your movie, you can find Asians watching your movie, you can right. find different people from different backgrounds. So when you are writing, try to allow your message to cut across to Everyone. them. Mm. You know, anybody that would be privileged to be because you you, you are not winning so to only black people That's or right. to only Nigerians. So God has he said go into the world. He didn't right. tell that go into one 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 nation. So you even mention go to Samaria, yes. go to Jordan. And the other most part of the world. Yes. yes. So <laughs> now you know these are some of the things we need to consider as mm. well. How this message can be able to cut across to other people. Wow, wonderful. So we should never um, limit ourselves in um, proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. So whenever we have our resources, we should think of other people that are not from her background. Thank you so much, and that is really wonderful. Um, can we quickly go on short break? Um, when we come back, then we can proceed forward. Thank you. Wow. Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to you all. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media. Titled, A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impact life positive, you can never shine. Join me on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. prompt on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. So, a um, moment with Sheo on the platform tag, a seed in me, a platform to discuss on how we discover the great seed of God in us. 
a platform to encourage one another on how we can locate the seed of God in us. A platform to encourage us because the Lord has deposited something special and unique in us. And it's for us to look into it and walk towards it to use it to bless other people. Without us using this, um, all these things in us, we can never shine. And also, we will be accountable for it when we die in heaven. God will ask us, what have you done with your seed? Let us remember the, um, the, um, 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 the story of the sewer in the Bible. Um, one buried his own and the other uses their own and it was multiplied. So it is good for us to use whatever God has deposited in us in order to bless other people. And it shall be well with us all in the mighty name of Jesus. I have my wonderful brother, Shego uh, Ajala, on platform. He's here sharing with us his experience on how he discovered his seed, on how he faces challenges, on how he overcome those challenges. And also on how uh, he, he, he was being a blessing to other people. He is a blessing to other people. In fact, I, I've been enjoying the blessing of God upon his life since he arrived there. And I want you to be benefit of this as well. Kindly share this program on your platform to bless other people and it shall be well with you. I have a gift for uh, all my wonderful people on the platform. If you are willing to have these books, different books I have here that he has wrote in the past. We have um, Fundamental Prayer Before Marriages and then Acting Ministry. I also have Before the Cutting Falls, Absence of the Father, Friend Courtship Marriage, Friend Courtship Marriage, um, Talent Management, and the Face of God. All these books are written um, through my wonderful brother and is a blessing, trust me. It's about his life experiences. It's about what he has faced. It's about what he has encountered. In fact, he even told us that for him not to do this is like a burden unto him. So he needs to write this book out there for us to share it for us to be benefit of it so we will fall in that way that he has fallen and i pray god will continue to direct us all if you are willing to have these books please dial in into 0203 774 or 079-4278530 i will know how it will um, locate you thank you and stay blessed um back to you sir thank you for being a blessing to us <coughs> The Lord continue to bless you. Now I want you to explain to me. Some people see um, the seed in a different way. What do you understand about a seed? Um, if if we if we are looking at seed from the perspective of um, gifting or talents, um, you know, um, seed is part of uh, reproduction. Okay. So, a, you know, a seed is carries a covenant to reproduce yeah. and uh, it's designed to develop into a plant or a crops or a seed or branches and even the root. Now when you have a seed, a lot of things is inside that. It's just like when a woman is pregnant, you yeah. know, you you have water there, you yeah. have human yeah. being there, <laughs> you have blood there That's right. and you even have uh, what they call the, the other one that comes with a child. Um, placenta. Uh, placenta is there. Mm -hmm. So when you are talking about a seed, when you put a seed at the right uh, ground, mm -hmm. you know, it germinates, it brings out roots from roots, it becomes a tree, mm -hmm. and it becomes it have branches, it has even another seed on it. Mm -hmm. You can see how great it is. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a seed. A seed it may be your talent, it may be your gifting, mm -hmm. it may be your potentials that God have you know put in you. Mm -hmm. Because the understanding of you know, some of us, we are just, you know, following shadows instead mm -hmm. of us to be able to so be the to one that they are looking them. for because mm -hmm. we have neglected our seed. Mm -hmm. So, and um, if you look at First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 38, it said, But God giveth it a body as he had pleased him, mm -hmm. and to every seed in his own body. Mm -hmm. So there is a seed in our body mm -hmm. that God has deposited in, in us. us. So yeah. when you are able to identify that seed, then you can be able to realize that you carry something that's mm -hmm. unique. Mm -hmm. You know, most of our times we want to copy others. That's right. And that's why we find ourselves mm -hmm. lost, even in, you know, in, in, in being yeah, lonely, right. even when we're in the crowd. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, you, you, your seed is talent and gifting deposited in your life. Mm -hmm. 
You know, your seed is your creative ability. It's what God has given you the grace that you have that ability. That's why that's there are some things that I will be able to do that you're not be able to do. That's right. And there's something that you, God, has blessed you to do, mm. which I will not be able to do because God has given us the creative mm. ability to be able to do that accordingly. Mm. So, and also, your seed is the key to wealth. Wow. Mm. So, people does not even know. And that's why the Bible says that your your talent, we, your gift, we make room for, for you. you. Is that you will see that in front of the kings and the yes. queen of the east. And that is how, because mm. when you see that in front of the king, what you want to talk about? Mm. They must be able to bless you in return. That's right. Do you understand? Because we are not talking about mm. what opened the door of prime minister for Joseph mm -hmm. is that gifting That's that right. he carried. Mm -hmm. So, and he, 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 he's, he's not controlling wealth. <laughs> Do you understand? So, mm. it is, you know, your seed is a power. It is, it, is, it is a key to your wealth. Your seed is the power you need. Mm. You understand? The reason why you see somebody is powerful is because there is something in them that, that gives them that power. Mm. That makes them to be able to say that people will say that, oh, I want to see that. They say, no, you need to fill the form. Wow. I want to see them, oh, they, because this guy have the knowledge. This mm. guy have the gifting that I can be able to use. Mm. You know, when there, is, when, there, when, when, there is, when there is problem, some people are blessed to be, to because of their, their gifting. Gift. Your mm. gift, God has blessed because of their talent to be able to solve it. Mm. Do you understand? Now we're talking about COVID-19. Some scientists are blessed mm. to be able to create solution to the problem of, 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 of the whole world. Yeah. So another thing is that your seed is the authority you have. Mm -hmm. Your seed is yeah. your authority, the authority you carry. And that is and that's some, some of us we look for authority because well, we don't have we don't we, we don't we don't want we to believe check in ourselves. In ourselves. We didn't locate it, we didn't search for her. That's it. If you mm. are able to search yourself, you realize that you want the authority. Mm. You want the authority. You know, you don't need to search for it. You, you are the authority. And also, your seed makes you relevant. You know, the seed in you makes you relevant. Because that is only, you know, the, the things that will make, you know, you to understand that God has put you in this place. Because there is something in you that will make you to be relevant. That's true. So, until when you understand that, your seed, like I said, is a, is a talent and gift to the person in your life. But you understand that it's a creative ability. Until you understand it's the key to your wealth. Mm -hmm. If you understand that it's the power you need. Until you understand that it's the authority you need. Until you understand that your seed makes you relevant. Then that is when mm -hmm. you can be able to say, I understand the reason of my creation. Hallelujah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> without you understanding the reason you've been created, mm -hmm. you might just be wasted. Yes. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -mm. This is deep. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So, you made us to understand that mm. our gift is, is, is a power. Our gift is, a, is authority. It makes us relevant. It, it opens doors for us. It makes us to stand in high places mm. where we don't even believe we can. Mm. Thank you so much. God bless you. How did you locate your own seat? All right. So, I put it down as how you identify. Your seed. your seed okay and when i when i when i look at the point that i can be able to put my own into it okay so number one is to identify god hmm. identify god everything in you must be traced to your prophetic journey hmm. and what have been said ahead of time hmm. he said before your mother conceived you i've known you <laughs> so you know there is thing that has been written up about you, you. Mm. before you even you step into your mom wow. before God opened the womb of your mom and put you there That's right. so the first thing is to identify God the creator of who is the carrier of the gift mm -hmm. so if you don't identify God it's just like when you buy something mm -hmm. and you cannot be able to look at the manual mm. then you, 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 you abuse it you misuse That's it right. So God is the creator. He, 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 know, he knows all. So you must identify God before you identify your seed. So if you identify God, rather by prophetically that, okay, what have been said before concerning, concerning me. me? Number two, by prayer. That's what identify God. You, 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 you go on, you go and talk to God. That God, what is, what is, why do you create it? What is your intention for me? What is your plan for me? So, and also, it's by passion. Because you are passionate to talk to God, and God, I, I want to know who I am. So, in, in another word, you need to have that relationship with, with God. God. 
That's it. Wow. You must have relationship with God. Okay. You know, you know, and the reason why I've said this is that, you know, some people can say that, oh, what about unbeliever? They are doing this, they are doing that. The truth is just that, you know, is either your seed, okay. you know, take you to hell or take you back to God. Oh my God. So <laughs> if if you if you if you if you if you if you don't serve, you know, uh if your seed is not is identified by the devil for you, use it for his own increase. <laughs> and if he's identified by God for you, he will now tell you how to use it. Okay. And there is no way you're not going to be a blessing. Right. Number two is that identify yourself. Okay. When you identify God, identify yourself. Then what is your strength? You know, what is your passion? What is your goal? You know, like when I was talking about body and all those stuff like that, okay. it's just that, look at it. Somebody was being stabbed on my street. It becomes a burden upon me that mm. God, why this? Why I, this? I pray for the family. I pray for the for the for the community, and God now you know speak and said He said, what, what, "What are you doing about it?" Mm. So then I, I I was telling God, I don't have I don't know anybody in the parliament. I don't know anybody that are, and God said, you have a your, "Your hand," mm. and I start writing. That's my strength. Mm. That's something that I, I'm passionate about. That's not something that you know. That's my goal. So you must be able to identify yourself. Mm. And that's why the problem is that many of us, you know, we want to give a fake identity. Mm, what we are not. When well, we are not, without saying that this is who mm. we are. But it's because you identify that is why you are not bold enough to say that this is who I am. Mm. So number three is identify problem. Okay. So identify problem. The need, the, what are the needs of people? You understand? So you have to be a solution to their problem. That's it, solution. Yeah. You may be a solution provider. You understand? Yeah. Because when you identify God in the yeah. process of identifying your seed, you know, if you identify yourself, then identify, you know, problem, need of people. What are people what, what are gonna make people happy? Yeah. You know, see, you see some people that you know they, they are comedians. Mm -hmm. Their job is just that I just want to make people smile. Even when they are yeah, even sad. sad when yeah. they don't when they don't when they don't nobody's making them happy. They just that is their job. Yeah. So and yeah, and that's why you see anything we are using today, mm -hmm. somebody identify their strength and they realize that it's a problem and they use their strength to create a solution, solution to the problem. To the problem. Mm -hmm. So now these are the three ways I put down to identify your seed. Mm -hmm. And if you can be able to look at it, it will help you to be able to understand the reason why God has created you. And how this how did this three 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 help me? You know, from when I was young. Is when the ministry was seven years. My senior brother said, You know, when you are very young, one woman always comes to our area and says, That's who you'll be, man of God. Mm -hmm. And I said, Really? So that is the prophetic. That's prophetic. So you trace it. Mm -hmm. But I think that being said ahead of time. You. Mm -hmm. you understand? So, and you can only trace it, you know, by revelation, by talking to God. You know, prayer as mm -hmm. well. You know, most of the time I, you know, ask God, you know, you know what, what, what? I, because the issue is not that it's easy for you to be able to be carried away, and after a couple of years, now you say, "Wow, I wish I started a long time ago." <laughs> Even though we can be able to say that you know everything works together, we're good. Yes, we know, mm. but you know there's a difference between when you obey God mm. and you start doing things at the right, at time. The right time. So you can be able to. So you know, and, and, and I identify myself. I, I personally don't. You know, I always tell so many of my friends, they will say that, I say, I, I'm, I'm not good in this. I don't want to put my hand in it. <laughs> so, it, it, that one doesn't mean that I cannot read about it or I cannot be able well, to research about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah, but it is it is not my strength. Yeah. So, I always tell my strength and my strength, and I look for who can complement my strength. You know, if, if you are a cameraman and I'm a writer, so we can be able to come together That's and we can right. be able to achieve the bigger goal thing because not only one person is requiring the team. That's right. You know, somebody can be a makeup artist and I am not a makeup, I can't make up for myself, then I'm talking about another person. Mm -hmm. So let's come together, we can be able to achieve that. That That's is where right. you identify your strength. So I identify problem. I love, you know, what makes me to be able to write about cartoon is I was in a church and one woman is sitting there with me with a little child and Throughout the two hours plus that we spend in church, the child is watching a cartoon that is not godly. <laughs> so I was so, I was so, you know, I was so angry in my spirit. 
that mm, who want this child have watched in a couple of years that will be a seed <laughs> you know that is that is being sown into that child and mm -hmm. and that's why you know it's easy you mm -hmm. know some of these games that our children are playing some of these things they are watching you don't know this is a seed that's being dropped into it's their mind them. and, and before you know a couple of years time is, that's it mm -hmm. it is not manifesting that's what leads me to write a couple of years ago write about cartoon and we produce a few in fact, one of our cartoons is now 4,000 wow. views on YouTube. And the truth is just that I'm happy yeah. at least that 4,000 children that have watched blessed. it will be blessed. Yeah. If that is the only thing that God wants me to do, that's fine. Yeah. So, you see, that is the passion, the body you have so to be able to solve problems. You are able to problem. see problem and you make a solution to the problem. I yeah. see. Hallelujah. So, and... That is how we can be able to get things in place. Wow, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I will quickly um, flash out your books for other people to see on the platform so that they will know which and which you have wrote and then how they can be how they can be blessed with the books. Can I as well um, say to our viewers that I have a couple of books with me here. We are sharing this free. We are giving out for free to bless you, so to bless you. Please kindly call me on 0203-774-7220 or 079-4427-8530. All these books are blessing, trust me. This is a life experience of stories that can meet our needs, that can change our life for good. Kindly please, um, I, I, I wish and I want you to have interest in this, please. Dial in into the number or you message me, you can DM me on 79 Even if you are living our, our blog, I promise to send it to you. Trust me, I will send it to you. Thank you and God bless you. Let me quickly acknowledge a few people before we flash those um, books out for them to see. I have my wonderful brother, Dunakayo De uh, Keyboard. Thank you for joining us. Uh, may the Lord bless you. And also my wonderful prophet, uh, Michael Udogu, a.k.a. Eric Alofi. Thank you so much, sir, for joining all the way from Nigeria. I have my wonderful counselor, uh, Fumi Ademilua. She said, um, great show. All glory to God Almighty. And also Michelle Ufele. Uh, she said, um, great books. Yes, great books. They are wonderful books that can bless our life. Please try to ask for one, and I will definitely send it to you. May the Lord bless you. We shall go on short break to see those books. Thank you and stay tuned. Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Sheo Akishan. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media. Titled, A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impact life positive, you can never shine. Join me on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. prompt on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. to encourage us on how we can discover the seed of God in us. 
in fact i'm really blessed tonight i'm not sure if you are blessed and i'm sure you are even blessed honestly speaking because how my wonderful guest has been telling us about how we can identify our sin what we can do to even identify it how we can be a solution to the problem of other people those are the part of our um, um, identifying our sin and i pray god will bless you for standing tuned in the mighty name of jesus kindly please share this to other people many might not be on here as we are having this live but if you share on your platform they will later wash it and be blessed also with it and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus uh, as we are moving forward i i said that we're going to show um flash out the books that we're talking about here i have fundamental prayer before marriage can you please brief us on this uh, yeah it's, it's uh, this this book is just uh, uh prayer points that you know if you are single that you can be able to pray before marriage these are the prayer points uh, god help me to pray i just said okay let me be a blessing then we can be able to say that okay uh, if you are single we know the kind of book we are going to give to mm -hmm. you oh, my mentee on my way here and she was saying that why is the high rate of divorce and um, I was telling her that go straight that is the foundation. The Bible says when the foundation is faulty, then what will the righteous do? So when the foundation is not well made, put together, okay. and God is not the center of it, it, it will always have okay. issues. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a book that will bless. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I also have um, talent management. Yes. Yeah, talent management is uh, one of the books in which the testimony have been awesome. And uh, I wrote it in a way in which you can be able to, what is talent, okay. how you can discover your talent, how you can manifest and manage your talent. Okay. I talk about communication skills in talent delivery, okay. how you can be able to communicate. So some of us, you know, I was, I, was, I was writing an article a couple of days and saying that you know, some of us, we even know our efforts, we see okay. them, but we don't know how to communicate our talent, wow. we don't know how to communicate our gifting with them so you know i talk about it and how to invest in your talent mm. you know some of us we just think that oh the talent we just started and start you know growing like that then, so, so, so there is a lot we need to do with our, talent to, do with our to talent to grow and nurture it yes okay. and using your talent in the marketplace what did i mean by marketplace you find yourself in a place in which people will need your talent how do you market your talent and i talk about maintaining your sources you know, if you are successful through your talent, how you can be able to maintain. So, it's a kind of book in which uh, in Nigeria, somebody read it, and uh, he, was, he was a barrister. And he said, this change his mindset about his talent, and he starts mm -hmm. working upon his talent. So, and this okay. is a testimony that is... Wow, thank you so yeah. much. I also have friend courtship marriage. Yeah, this is, um, you know, uh, God has blessed me with amazing wife and children. So these are some of the things we need to understand that when you are in the place of friend with anybody you are dating, you know, you know, somebody that's, you know, that should be three days ago now, we had a friend that came here and said that, oh, your book you gave to me, I started asking my boyfriend about, uh, you know, this question to know who this person is. So, and uh, so, so you look about friendship and how, what are the ways to form friendship? You know, some of us, you know, some people are in our life that they, they are not there because they are just occupying your life. <laughs> so, but they are just friends. So you must understand. So you don't do them saying that, oh, oh, it's like this person like me, like this person is, so then you must understand. And things that you need to consider before going into relationship, what are the things you need to consider? I talk about things that can destroy relationship. I talk about how you can deal with hurt in front of you. So many people due to relationship, they have been hurt. So how you can you deal with it, you know, I talk about, and I talk about courtship, process of courtship, some important aspect to discover when you are in courtship, you know, you ask some very important questions, you know, you know, I've heard somebody said, oh, I did not marry a pastor, I married a doctor, okay. and it's the same truth, she married a doctor, <laughs> you know, but she did not explain to them that, you know, I feel that God is going to call me, and how where God wants to call you, so you prepare their mind ahead of time. Mm -hmm. 
So before you go into marriage and you say that, okay, I felt that I have passion for the things of God, you know, I think I want to serve in such a place. So you must discuss it. So I talk about uh, sex, 21 reasons why you must not marry an unbeliever. I talk about it there and I talk about marriage, the purpose of God for marriage, how to run in compliment and not competition with your spouse. Now some of us, we, we are in competition with our spouse. He said we're going to compliment each other. Mm. You understand? You know, like now we are here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your husband is behind the scene. And that is how you can be able to compliment each other. So, statement that can destroy marriage. I've heard somebody say that, oh, you know, I, 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 we, we are not age mate. I said, okay, cool. So, you are not age Why do you marry someone that is that's not your age mate? You understand? <laughs> so, these are some of the things that you don't say, you know, you know, sound. And I put statement that can destroy. I talk about prayer. So it's, it's something, it's somebody that is wow. going to This is really interesting, honestly. And, and this. Very, very interesting. Mm. You know what? Mm. Oh, as you are saying that, um, about the courtship, what you need to know before you enter into marriage. Mm. What about a situation where you don't have any courtship, but you just find yourself in the marriage? And when things go wrong, how do you deal with it? Yeah, the, the truth is just that, um, uh, to me, I may be wrong, but to me, Unless you do one night stand, which unbeliever always do. <laughs> and if it's not one night, one night stand that all <laughs> unbelievers always do, mm. there will be some time you have spent together mm. that you will have asked que questions. questions. You understand that, oh, what is your values? You mm. know, values in the areas of, oh, okay, uh, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in Trinity? Do you believe in serving mm. in the church? You know, you can ask, you know, what is your family values you know what do you do you like but family because no before you before family. they see your mother and you say say that no your mother cannot come in here <laughs> you know what are you know, how do you deal with money hmm. you know you know you know some people they can just spend money on anything and by the time you got married you just be seeing all that coming amazon all that coming That's to your right. house and, you and some that, people have um, uh, this joint account in the marriage which is really good to some couple and it's not even good to other so in a way, I think uh, it might be compromising, mm. if you understand what mm. I mean, that, okay, being a couple, we believe in having a joint account, and when things are falling apart, that, that will, be the first <laughs> will be the first problem in the marriage. What can you say about yeah, it? Yeah, to, to me, it, it depends on, because what works for my marriage, you know, works for yours. That's right. I have a joint account with my wife, <laughs> yeah. and that joint account is where we put money, all the bills, everything goes out of it. And whatever I want to do, we go into it and, you know, and it's, it's a, you must plan, you must talk about it, you understand? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that, you know, because the truth is just that you are accountable to each other. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because whether who is collecting 5,000 pounds or somebody is collecting 500, 000, 500 pounds, yeah. it doesn't matter. you know, the more you go to whatever you are, you are mm -hmm. accountable to each other, mm -hmm. that, okay, they, you know, this is this money. And, you know, because... Some people they don't do joint accounts yeah. and they are accountable to each other and they right. spend the money. You understand? Not because you know they, they can't just wake up and just spend their money they work for for themselves. Mm -hmm. But as the Bible says two becomes one. That's right. So you must be able to sit down, talk that about whatever that. works for you. You know, when it works for you, that's fine. That's why I don't always believe that what what the it's way the, 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 the design of my marriage mm -hmm. I should use to tell, but I can tell you what works for me. But when you know the person you are, you are, you are, yeah, you, you, you marry, mm -hmm. you marry, you can be able to see what works. Oh, so okay. people that they can wake up and not analyze their investment and just say that, okay, I want to go and do this. They don't want to look at what is going to happen. But some people, they will sit down and look at it, pray about it, think about it over and over what again. What if it went and, and Yes. Uh -huh. So, and before you know, they will, they will start, um, they will start, putting things in place. So mm -hmm. you must sit down. That's why the more reason that you must talk about all these things. Ask questions, you know, about things. Study the person very well. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, so these are some of the things that is very important for mm -hmm. us to look into. Mm -hmm. But what matters is that before you even say you go into this relationship, pray about, about it. it. Mm -hmm. Know that God is going with you. And for those that are already in, into it, they didn't pray before about they it. Before call God. Yes, but that's it. So <laughs> before before they call God and they're already in it, all what they need to do <laughs> is to still submit everything back to God, which is not too late. That's and right. the Lord will help. Because the truth is just that 
marriage is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Thank you for this great advice, and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Before we round up, uh, because of our time, our time is quite fast, fast spent now. I want you to advise people that are watching us that are unable to locate their state. Mm -hmm. Find you will explain to us on what we can do. You understand? But I still want you to advise people watching us that, okay, these are the things that you can do. Or probably they already know what their seed is, but they don't know how to nurture it. You made, you made mention of we need to look into the uh, problem and being a solution. But if you don't even identify what you have, you can't be a solution to any problem. Mm -hmm. How can you advise people that already have their um, seed, but they're unable to nurture it? So the seed was just pending. They, they are not even moving forward, mm -hmm. but they truly have that seed. How can you encourage them? Okay, I put it down here that um, how you need to develop your seed okay. and the first thing is that what what is about the seed mm. what is about the seed what is the revelation of the seed you must understand that what god has put into you mm. what did god what is the plan of god about it mm. so when you know what's got a plan of god for about it you can be able to use that seed according to the way god has designed for, for you you mm. understand? No, if God have given you being a caterer now, mm. that you think that you have that gift into, no matter even when you are under pressure, when you are tired and you cook, and people say, ah, this food is, so God is, God, mm. and that, in, on, in, in that way, it can be that, oh, the Lord is making you to be able to solve problems of mm. people in the area of allowing them to know the right food to eat, to be healthy with the food, and sure. also how to be able to be a blessing, you know, because for a wedding, somebody wants you to solve a problem of catering. <laughs> you understand? And when you solve it, they want you to solve it in a unique way and in an excellent way. Okay. In return, they will say that, oh, thank you for making all my, all oh, my guests. guests, they are so, so happy, happy and all this stuff yeah. like that. You have solved somebody's problem. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you must see that and from that place, God may be leading you to be feeding the homeless. Hmm. Ministry can come out of it, feed the homeless. Ministry can come out of it that, you know, feed the elderly. That's so when we're true. talking about the revelation of that seed, what is God? So that's more we need to go back to God. Number two is the, what are the information that's required? Oh. You understand? I cannot just jump up and say that, oh, I want to go and do a movie. I need to gather some information. That's true. I need to read some books. I need to be able to say that, oh, I need a mentor, yeah. you know, that will help me in this area, you know, of my business. You know, like I was saying about Iketra, and you know, one of my friends wanted to do a um, uh, wedding in one hotel, and the hotel said the Iketra need a license. And that's my first time of knowing that there's some, oh. some hotel, that there's some food that it must be licensed uh, to company cook. to be able right. to cook in that kind of place. Yeah. So, and that's my first time. So yeah. what are the information that you need to mm. know about that, your seed? So it's not about, oh, God, I give it, yes. God have given you now what are the information you need to know about, about it. it. Number three is that what are the platform? Oh. You understand? That and this seed will say, work. Wow. Mm. You know, identify some platform, which are the areas. So and you know, when you identify that platform, then you can be able to say that okay, yes, I belong to a, a, a page in which they talk about catering, mm. they talk about new revolution that comes out of it. You know, I have mentors, I have network of people that are doing the same job with me. Mm -hmm. So you can't be able to do that. And also, what are the things you need to start practicing? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, so that you need to be prepared yourself. You know, some of us, we just say that, oh, we are, we know what to do now with job. And that's why there is errors. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why there is error. We just do anything. And, and you know, it's so interesting that mm -hmm. every one of us, we like to wear designers. <laughs> but when they get to the things that the talent, we don't do it in the right way. We mm -hmm. don't, we are, excellence is not there. The Bible says that. Daniel had an excellent spirit. Oh, yes. You understand? That are excellent. If you look at all his friends in Daniel mm -hmm. chapter 2, mm -hmm. they are people mm -hmm. of caliber. They are yes. spiritually sound. Mm -hmm. They even put them, you know, you know, Midra Shekrak and in the they fire. put them in, mm -hmm. in, 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 in the they, uh, spirit mm -hmm. fire and they put them in the place of authority as well. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that is the platform, people that you need to go with. Also, you must be dedicated to your talent. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's because when you are dedicated to it, that's where you see people coming in. You know, to say that, oh, wow, this is, so you you this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do. And that is your identity of your mm. seed coming out. You know, some people, they can't come to that community and say that they are counting four or five people that are Ketra. They will say that, oh, she too, she's Ketra. Mm -hmm. Oh, he too is a Ketra. I know somebody that served during my wedding in 2013. And one, one friend of mine, I saw them that they are Facebook friends. 
And I was saying, how do you know this person? He said, yeah, yeah, we, we met in the wedding. That is identity. <laughs> you know that this person, this is what he's doing. Mm. Identity is there. So, and when we look at also diligence, mm. you know, many of us, we find ourselves that we are running beyond <laughs> our destiny. You know, we are just, we just want to be there. We don't, mm. you know, I, I, like I was telling somebody that, you know, you don't do what... Uh, that he might do it by something, yes, a minister. He said he wants to do it, you know, overnight. <laughs> no, God is not a magician now. Last He's time. a miracle worker. Mm -hmm. Because he will, he does like a, a 14 years old praying for Lamborghini. Mm. He can be able to get it, but the truth is, how are you going to maintain it? That is the value of that money. And that's how God is taking us through process and procedure, you know. And the last thing before, so before we go, is I talk, I, I, I put it down this transition of your seed. Mm. How your seed will you know, transit from one place to another. So, another. yes, identification stage. Where we just talk about identify yeah. yourself, your seed, your, seed your strength. The platform where you can use it. Yes. So, and the second thing is developing your developing it. You yeah. need to just develop it. Number three is now you need to serve with it. Jesus Christ served. That's it. Mm -hmm. He 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 served. He's there to be able mm -hmm. to you know he. he is there to be able to help people, is mm -hmm. there to be able to push my, is there to be able to encourage. Mm -hmm. So you must use your seed to serve. The problem we have nowadays is that everybody wants to be boss. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to serve with our seed. Mm -hmm. You understand? You don't want to serve humanity. You don't want to serve your church. You don't want to serve your family with your seed. If you know that you're a cameraman, if your family is doing something, let them know that you can be able to. Even when they are charging, yes, yeah, can be able to. If they are charging fifty pounds for outside, I say, okay, don't worry. As a family, we do forty for you. Mm. And you. So let them know that you are there. You are serving in the church. Serve. Mm. You know who are there because these are the reason why you have been given the seed is to serve. To serve others. To mm. serve others, and also is a kingship. We have kingship. Kingship, you know, when you already know identify your in that stage, identify your seed. You already develop it. You are already serving with it. Then you find yourself in a season which you are a king. That's right. Other people will not because the way the Bible says that <laughs> your, your gift will take you, your time will take you in front of the king. Mm -hmm. That means that mm -hmm. at some point you will experience kingship. That's right. So that kingship is not a place in which you'll be honored mm -hmm. because of your gifting, because of your talent. You'll be honored. People will see that, yes, the hand of God is upon you. They will celebrate you. They will appreciate you. Mm. You know, and when you're in that stage, humility is very important. Mm. To be very humble, because you know God is the one that is proud. That's right. You understand? But He lifts the one that is humble. You understand? You know, humility. Is, some people define humility in a different manner. Oh. But you know, <laughs> you know, some people will say that oh, oh, because you are you are able to be able not to be, you know. Allow some things to happen because some people, because you are humble as well, they mm -hmm. take things for liberty. Oh, right. You say, Oh, you are not humble. You know, you, know, you know, some people, when they want to do emotional, but they say, oh, We have been calling you now, we need your PA to talk to you. You don't need to say that. <laughs> that is not to make that person to be humble because you don't even know what is going on at the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, we say something that we don't realize that it is not right. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but what we say that when we are in that place of kingship, that baby, God needs us to be humble That's for right. all because we are still serving. Mm -hmm. So, and the last thing is make sure that that your gifting is transgenerational. Wow. And what did I mean by that is that die empty. Let other people know. Mm. Help people to be able to get to that platform. Mm. Help the younger ones identify themselves you know, with your gifting. Uplift other people. Mm. That by the time you die, people can say that if not because of you, so mm. I've identified myself. If not because of mm. you, I was able to fulfill my destiny. If not because of encouragement. I remember I, one of my mentors said mm. a, a success with, uh, without success so mm. is a failure. Yeah. So if you have been successful mm. and you are not encouraged, other people to be successful mm. when you die then you are a failure yeah. because it will help yeah them. because and it's a major problem in our mm. in our community some mm -hmm. of us will die with very <laughs> very costly very expensive information <laughs> or because they say that oh if i tell them now they, they started will, doing they, it they started doing it, they started <laughs> we die with information people will surely you know you just be happy that they mm. are copying you but there's exactly, no way you, there's because you are can, the major original. Yes, you are the original. <laughs> <laughs> Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Somebody said you should talk about the uh, a step by step guide and also beginning in Christian stage drama. Yeah. Uh, beginning in Christian stage drama is a book I wrote uh, 
to be able to help uh, people that just come into Christian state drama is uh, it still go back to be sure that God call you into drama okay. ministry. Also, what are the things you need to learn to develop yourself? So I talk about behind what we need to do if you are not on stage, what you need to do as a, and how you can be able to translate on stage to screen. Okay. Because some of us, we, we do not do stage, we just jump into screen, mm. the screenplay. So it is, it is good, but at the same time, you know, you yes, can be able you know. to mm -hmm. know that how things happen and some of the things you need to keep your spiritual life, mm. you know, intact. So there is a band back in ministry, so you, you must be able to put yourself. And also, for some of the things that you need to do to be able to groom yourself, identify yourself, and be a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Um, as we are moving forward because of our time, I have my wonderful sister Felicia Wright. She said you are absolutely right. Thank you for testifying to that. God bless you, ma. Um, as we are moving forward, I wonder if you have one or two people that you would like to appreciate before we end the program. Ah, okay. I will appreciate firstly my wife. Wonderful. Yeah, because uh, you know she, she, she have been a, a blessing at the same time. Allow me to be able to come down and take care of the children. It's not easy. Uh -huh. So now, and I want to appreciate all the partners in my family, all the partners who could have supported the ministry from day one that believe in me and still believe in me. You now people uh -huh. that have watched our movies, you know, and uh, people that have. Um, and call it because everything about money. You know, some people will just you know send a text that you feel like you are in low period of your time, and they just send the text and say that oh, Rasha, how are you? And they brighten your day. Yeah, that's it. And you know, this this is very important. So yeah. I want to appreciate everybody and um, also every members of CGB. Uh, Kai, want to say thank you very much. And we are with a lot of things that God is going to do this year. Amen. So and. Uh, the Lord bless you. Amen. Thank you, everyone, that has ever supported our wonderful brother, Chef Go Ajala Ise. Thank you, especially to the woman behind him, making him stand strong and powerful. Thank you, man. God bless you. More anointing upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are rounding um, up because of our time, I will meet with you again next week by His grace. A moment with shame on the platform tag is saving me. Stay tuned and God bless you. Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to you all. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media. Titled, A Seed in Me, A Seed in Me, A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. prompt on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you.